So, a little bit of info on these players. There's Liang Wei King, 22 years of age. Already they've taken down the Indian Open this year. They beat uh, the Malaysian So and Chia at the final of that event. And they really advertised their claims uh, for the first time last season. They took down the uh, Japan Open. That was their first tall title as we look at Wang Cheng. Who at 21 is a year younger than his partner. And I think I think Chris had taken a huge amount of confidence from that win over Ranky Reddy and Shetty yesterday. Well, there you see it was 58 minutes, it was a terrific match. So having dumped out the six seeds, they now turn their attentions to Carnando and Martin, who are ranked 11 in the world, almost as high as they've ever been. Carnando, who was the World Junior Champ, along with his partner in 2019, they won their first uh, tournament as a pair a year before that, actually. But they really have enjoyed a fantastic start to 2023 when the Indonesian Open and the Thai Masters and the Indonesian Open is a Super 500 event. So not for the first time, uh, Chris, on quarterfinal. They a, a, a tough match to call this one. Yeah, it's a very even game. I mean, you've got three of the uh, of the four players from the World Junior Championship final, and you know they've had massive rivalry. I'm sure their whole junior career. Um, and the big thing for the two Indonesian boys, they are two tournaments on the bounce that they've won, which is incredible. Their their current form is is quite um, astonishing. Ten matches unbeaten, um, and. In this tournament as well, they look pretty good. So I'd say their their confidence must be through the roof at the moment. Sun Yun Kang is the umpire, and Paul Buffum there is the service judge. Well, we've had really lengthy rallies in both the mixed doubles match and the women's doubles that we've had so far on our show court. I wonder if it's uh, if this match they're going to follow suit. I'm not sure. Not too many lengthy rallies in the uh, Liang and Wang game yesterday. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Liang Wei Kang and Wang Chang, China. <laughs> And on my left, Leo Rolli Calenando and Daniel Martin, Indonesia. <laughs> Wang Chang to serve to Daniel Martin. Love ball. Hey. Hey. Play. So here we go then, this men's doubles. Nothing breeds confidence like winning, so those two should be absolutely flush full of it at the moment. Threat from the back, Liang. He's the big, powerful hitter. Whoa! I think you'll see too many errors like that from Martin.
I've missed that. Yeah, I think maybe took his eye off it for a fraction because he had it. Like moves in, does everything right. Not quite sure what happened. trickier end for the players who played before the end that the Indonesians are down. We've just seen maybe a few simpler mistakes from the Indonesians. to do though down the end they are because the Chinese have the wind with them so Liang has a big attack anyway but when he's got the wind with him I mean I can hear the thud from where I am sat and I'm sat up in the rafters he's in it very hard really sharp there from Wang at the net made the move early and this is what I kept saying yesterday you put the net you've got to make the move early so that you're in the right position when you're striking the shuttle sharp today I know it was a miss hit but he's everywhere just look at the movement here yeah and he's, he's a really imposing figure at the net Wang Chang not the tallest he's 5'11 but just that wiry frame and he's got such great anticipation and great hands too as he showed again right there. Yeah, I mean, I have to say the luck so far definitely has gone with the Chinese. Don't get me wrong, it was an incredible shot from Wang. I'm not 100% sure that was intentional because um, they got the net cord. I mean, he did incredibly well. So far, everything's definitely gone the way of the Chinese. Drive there from Wang, stepped in, took it early. Oh. Out. Good judgment there. Five, ten. He did very well to leave that with a tumble serve, Leo. Mistakes from the uh, from the Chinese sneaking. And again, that's an easy shot. He's above tape. It's a poor smash. He's almost trying to hit too good a shot off that. If he just keeps that flat. We'll see if we get to see this again. Look how flat that is. He's got it. He's got it easy. 
Yeah, well, we saw how their match yesterday against Shetty and Ranky really kind of ebbed and flowed. Periods where they were look the sharper pair and then it just switched around. And that's exactly what's happened here because they're just a point behind now, the Indonesians. If you look how cool Daniel was then, he does the flick and then realises, but look at him, he's, he's pretty much stopped. He's not even facing the net. He's so chilled. <laughs> I mean, that is so much confidence in he's, your partner. He's got total faith, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah. Just dropped in, so 11-9 it is, but that Chinese lead has been whittled away by, uh, by uh, Fernando and Martin. 11-9, mid-game break. with this at the net he's, he's, in, he's on the front line and they're hitting it down at him but somehow he manages to survive his reactions are so quick at the net <laughs> they do dovetail superbly don't they those two it was an incredible move from the Indonesians, both covering each other here, chasing forward, and then you can see the gap, wherever the gap is, it's filled. And the big power from Daniel. Very strong physical player. seen these errors creep in now from the Chinese the difficult thing is they have to drift with them the wind with them and you can see quite a few getting pushed out the back that is very good judgment though from Daniel well they're in a bit of a pickle here the uh, Chinese pair especially because they're playing for what should be the most advantageous end in this first game what a change from it was 10 4 to the Chinese, and now it's 13 11 to the Indonesians. Oh! This is the difficult thing when the momentum shifts as it has done, it feels, it feels horrible. You know, you can see the Chinese looking so flustered, looking so uncertain what to do. Both of them going for the shuttle there. And as soon as doubt comes in your mind, as soon as you lose a bit of belief, a bit of confidence. again
total transformation in this uh, opening game. First cheap point that they've given away for some while. Sideline would have been perfect from the Chinese. We yeah, just an inch or two out, as where the big space was. at the moment from Liang and Wang rather gifting the opening game to the Indonesians if this carries on great serve yeah, brilliant for Daniel and he's got such a dangerous flick because he's got such a strong arm he holds it to the last second when he does the flick and then there's a massive smash in the placement as well and at the moment, I mean, the Ind Indonesians look incredible. 10-4 down to 18-12 up. Go! Mistake after mistake, though, from the Chinese, and they just can't stop the rock. Seven game points for the Indonesians. Hey. All over, 21-13 in the opener. All I would say is, remember yesterday, uh, Liang and Wang dropped the opening game against Shetty and Ranky Reddy, but came back to win the match. Hopefully, from their point of view, they can uh, mount something similar today. But that first game, totally dominant, the Indonesians, having looked a little out of sorts, Chris, initially, but it was uh, very one-sided in the end the other way. That's the thing, it was strange because the Chinese had the rhythm at the beginning and then they totally lost it. And I'd say, don't get me wrong, the Indonesians did well, but they weren't incredible from being 10-4 down to win 21-13. That is an unbelievable turnaround. But for me, it was a case of the Chinese almost fell apart. Mistake after mistake after mistake. The Indonesians, they did do some good bits, definitely. But the amount of gifts the Chinese gave them, it was unbelievable. So they won 17 of the last 20 points in that match. And I mean, that stat is just mind-boggling. At men's doubles, when you have two of the best pairs in the world, you know, you've got two, you've got a pair ranked 10 and 11 in the world, and you hear that crazy stat. It, it, it just, the Chinese just fell apart. Game. 
So is there a way back for the Chinese pair, as there was yesterday when they dropped the opener? So what they can do against uh, these very talented Indonesians. First rally there to get us going in the second game. A lot more solid from the Chinese. for me with the Chinese is we see moments of brilliance where especially Wang at the net he's I mean so sharp and we saw this at the beginning of the match this one and then all of a sudden it fell apart and this is what I highlighted yesterday for me it's just with the inexperience they're so up and down Whoa! again brilliant but this they're a very young partnership they haven't played together for very long both players are fairly young and I think there's they're at the beginning, when they start to almost steady that ship, and when things aren't going well, that's the tough bit, and that's the bit I don't think they're confident enough to deal with well enough yet. Yeah, three young players, Niang, oh! um, Fernando and Martina are all... Thank you, Robert. Wang, Martin, and Fernando are all 21, and Niang is 22, so... You would think two pairs with um, very big futures in front of them moment though the angle when desperately trying to find a way back into this match again brilliant he's so sharp at the net he's so active he's hitting a shot where's it going hitting a shot making a move and that you know that's a good net man but we saw him sort of fall apart in the uh, in the latter stages of the first game Most likely, we're going to challenge this. It was called in, and the, uh, the Chinese or the. Uh, we're going to have a look. And I can't blame them, because it, again, it was a simultaneous kind of arm in the air from both, which generally. Yeah. It's often the way it's because. Um, He's got that extra bit of wind with him, Daniel, when he's hitting that shot, the, the, sh the shuttle keeps travelling. And often in those situations, it does just sneak out. So it's a great, um, great challenge by the Chinese boys. And this was pretty similar to how the first game started. You know, the Chinese looked really good. Um, the Indonesians were making a few mistakes. But what's going to happen in this game? Well, there's a little present. Considering he's, you know, he's more comfortable in the rear of the court, and look how active he is at the net. Brilliant push, and then looking off, covering the straight. Wow! And again, great touch, great touch there. Just net corded a net cord. That is incredibly difficult to do. This is what the Chinese need to do. They need to take a little bit of pace off so the Indonesians are below tape and hitting up because it's quite hard to control the shuttle when you're lower than the tape from the end that the Indonesians are because you've got the drift going with you. Eight, five. 
suddenly looks like a different match, doesn't it, than the first game? Yeah. Certainly the latter part of the first game, because yeah. they were 10-4 they were up. And this is the difficult thing, is, is it going to change again, or are the Chinese going to continue to keep their concentration and keep the, the same style? Can the Indo Indonesians change things up? Both tried that kind of flat flick um, to Leo, and I'd say he's just too quick, he's too agile, he's reading that serve. It's got to go higher and it's got to go over him, so he has to take a full step back before he can just do a jump. So a handy lead for the uh, Chinese at the mid-game break, 11-7, as they try to get themselves back into this match. Straight away makes the move and then up. And even though they're still a fair way drift, the uh, Indonesians will know that the uh, Chinese can self destruct a little bit. And they could potentially, like they did in the first game, win a, a barrel load of consecutive points and turn this game around. So certainly the Chinese will be taking nothing for granted at 12 9. Magnificent. Yeah, that's a brilliant, brilliant shot. Just steps in, takes it early, and look at that angle into the space. That is a brilliant shot. Oh! And this is it now. This is almost, you know, we're mirroring the first game. The Chinese were 11-9 uh, up in the first game. They were 11-7 up in this one. First one they lost 21-13 and all of a sudden the Indonesians are right back in this. They may well go on and win this game and potentially match the Chinese, but it's got to be a concentration point, hasn't it? Because we know they've got the talent. Not a bad ability or lack of it. Great defence from both the Indonesian boys, but then it's just that constant pressure from Wang. Just keeps going, keeps going, and keeps going. Yeah, 
doesn't really matter how slow the court conditions are when you hit it as hard as he does. And that's a bit of a giveaway. the power it was the angle and the accuracy yeah it's brilliant finish and it's even the shot before uh, from Leo the reverse he's reversed it straight to get his partner the short lift but the Indonesians now they've come alive again See the, the skill there, though, from uh, from Daniel at the back. He's he's, he's putting he's almost putting top spin, or he's trying to to make the shuttle dip so that it's difficult for for Wang at the net. But he can't quite because he's just in too much pressure to be able to fully put the top spin on to make it dip. Hey! Shot like that shot there, he's moved it around so well that it's inviting, it's tempting, but it's not an easy shot because the Chinese players are off balance, they're out of position. This is enjoyable to watch. All four players now are playing to a good level. That's a great rally. And in the end, it's a battle of the two netmen. Stepping forward. There he is, that chance. And it, it's, oh, it looks like it's going to go, and then it just doesn't. Great 
return a serve at a big point as well. That I'm not sure we can quite see it there, but I'm pretty sure it just clipped the tape and it just slightly turned. of an excellent defence and they're big favourites now in this uh, second game that they need to win to take us to a decider. I think that's a big point for the Chinese just to settle them down. Because this is the thing, how many times have the uh, Chinese had an easy lift or even been on balance on a lift in this game? I'd say probably two or three times. Just that's what they need, that's what they want to be able to use the big smash from Liang. there net play from uh, from Wang he's been so active at the net his job is to get his partner the lift because his partner's a powerhouse but if he can't get in the lift he can't use his can't use his power so here he's taking everything to get the the easier shot So here are three game points to level the match for Liang and Wang. Well, let's hope from their point of view that doesn't come back to haunt them. points are not easy to come by against these two. Still two left though. <laughs> Missed it. Oh, did he get it? No, he got it. He got it. Then. Nervy here for the Chinese pair. Two game points saved by the Indonesians. And the Chinese make it third time lucky. Feeling the tension out there. 19, and is he going to go with the serve? Fantastic. And then the court was open. Oh my god. Still playing, still got it. <laughs> what an incredible point. Did that hurt? Unbelievable. I think it was long. But I think they were saying it, it hit one of the Chinese, but the umpire says no. So the game's gonna stand at 21-19. Unbelievable. That was an incredible rally to finish the game. I mean, how they stayed in it for as long as they did was ridiculous. <laughs> well, 
park badminton, park gymnastics to get out of the way. Shuttle was clearly long, it was just a case of whether it flipped off Liang. That's the thing, that's an incredible leave. I mean, he obviously was fully committed to going for it, and the last second something made him feel like he was going out the right judgment, but that's why I think the Indonesian boys thought he maybe touched it, just because it was a very, uh, um, quite unique leave. Yes, it wasn't the most um, aesthetic move you've ever seen, but he managed to get out of the way of the shuttle. That's all he had to do to set up a decider. now Chris none at all no I mean it's it's a it's, it's a 50 50 it's been a very exciting game so far I think this is the same as each game started with the Chinese looking dominant but obviously we, uh, you know this happened exactly in the first game and then the Chinese came off the rails second game very similar but they just about managed to hold on So active at the net. Makes a move now, he's going forward, rack it up, cut it out and in again. And he would have had that one if it had gone over. This is the thing, when the Chinese play like this, they look absolutely incredible. And this is exactly how they started the first game. And then something just went wrong and then it all sort of capitulated. Can they keep this up? Yeah, they do look a million dollars on side, don't they? And remember, they did come from behind to beat Rankaredi and Shetty yesterday. They lost the first game, as they did here. Say so that shot there is it's a comfortable shot. It doesn't even have to be as tight as that. There's a big space down the line here. It could have just been on the inside tram and they would have been fine. It doesn't have to be as perfect as that. start with you know a careless service error mature play from Daniel because in this situation on this shot he could have tried to win the point but all he does is get into an easier situation and then it's you know the Chinese are totally out of the game here just a simple block but he's taking it early if he'd have tried to kill that it's just too risky and then it becomes so easy to win the point
shot from Wang, wasn't it, that kind of started their slide in that rally. Put his partner in a near impossible position. This is the thing, if Wang can get Liang for the high lift, he is timing it so well in this hall. He's in it so hard. But the difficult thing is, it was that smash, and then this gets more comfortable, because then you can place, as the net man, if you get the time to be able to place where you're then hitting it, you can be dangerous. But it stems from getting that high lift for Liang. So good in the midcourt, just putting the shuttle into the space. The shot that he played then, he just he, he puts the Chinese in trouble. When uh, to be honest, he, he doesn't really have a right to because he's not in a fantastic position. But they have such good vision. Well, they were five-one up at one stage, and now the Chinese have been pegged back to six points each. Definitely can't trust them with the lead. This is the difficult thing for the Chinese. It's so hard to lift from that side, especially relift off a smash. Because when you've got the wind with you, it's so hard to control it correctly. Because if it's short, you definitely don't want Daniel getting a short lift because he hits it very, very hard too. Way long. Defense. I don't know how the Indonesian survived for so long, but full credit to Wang. All he's doing is just persisting and keeping the pressure on until he gets the easy opportunity and then finishes it. Yeah, just needed the height and eventually got it. To get the downward trajectory on the shuttle. Bit of a cheap, cheap mistake there, really. See a little stare there from Leo at him. They played each other a lot as juniors, so I'm sure there's a big rivalry. You can see how much, look at how much that shot was spinning. It was almost impossible there for Leo to be able to do anything with that shot because it hadn't come out of the spin. See that none of the rear cores being used here. It's almost like everyone's playing with the back of the court out because no one wants to give the lift away. He's very dangerous from the back line, from mid-court like that, impossible to stop. 
so powerful. It looked like he hit it through the net. I mean, I know obviously he can't, but he's yeah. so strong. He hit it at the net, and the, the net's got no chance of stopping that one. literally been blow for blow, point for point in this decider after the uh, Indonesians came back from 5-1 deficit. Wow, the line beautifully. That was massive though. I mean, this is why on that end the Indonesians couldn't high lift to Liang because he is timing it. Possibly one of the best players in the whole tournament at the moment. He's in there so hard. And the placement as well, I mean, that's to perfection. So, the final act of this uh, men's doubles quarter-final. If they can hold themselves together, the better for the next uh, ten minutes or so. And make the sense. Wide and a mile. Frustration there, he knows he shouldn't miss that. He's a fantastic net player. And he's got it, he's read it. Wang Cha, get ready. I can't believe he didn't clear the net. Wow, <laughs> that was incredible. Actually, the Usain Bolts to get there. He's everywhere. Didn't he move? And he's That's quick. He, he's taken that off the tape as well. That is a tight net shot. Look at this. That is incredible. Absolutely incredible. to watch the intensity the level the movement around each other
completely fooled them with that. That's what I mentioned earlier. He's got an incredible flick because he's got such a strong arm that he holds it literally. That's the last second. Literally the last second, then it goes over. definitely out of it again he caught them and it is such a dangerous serve because now the Chinese have that little bit of doubt in their mind they have to they have to be prepared that that dangerous flick might come and if it gets to 20 or 19 all there's a good chance we're going to see it again ready whereas a lot of the time we've seen Liang because he's more comfortable at the back not stepping in when it's in the midcourt but you have to step in the early you take it the later your opponents will take it and you put pressure on from taking it early left it for each other. Strong. Even when he's off balance, he can still hit it so hard. Brilliant again there from Liang. When he catches it at the net, when he intercepts it, he is so sharp. It's not even a bad return, but he's, he's on that. Point at a time has got to be the mention now for the Chinese pair. Oh. <laughs> well, this match has had pretty much everything comebacks, trick shots, massive smashes. It's the big thing now, pretty much any time anyone lifts, the defence is just a bit, it's a bit edgy, it's a bit tense. So there's going to be a massive fight for the no-lift style. Both netmen are going to be chasing forward to try and get their partners the lift. It's going to be a battle for um, Leo against Liang. Who can get forward? Sorry, against Wang, apologies. Wang is the netman, not Liang. Wang, 
when he's on, I mean, he is so sharp at the net. You can't play through him, you can't play in front of him. Look at him here, covering everything and chasing forward. And then he intercepts that as well. And the reason the Indonesians have gone through him is because he's chasing forward. You can't play net when someone's chasing forward because he'll be able to brush it off. Dancing away, coach. Can they get the job completed though? Two more points needed. Not yet they can't. Great return. And then there, uh, Liang doesn't want to high lift it, but to be honest, he doesn't really have a choice. He kind of has to, because he tries to force it through, but it's going upwards into the midcourt, and then he puts himself in a lot of trouble. Except for that, I've got to give full credit here to, uh, to Wang. He, he is a fantastic net player, and he's shown that in this final game. But it's definitely not over to the Indonesians yet. That's it. 21-18, and just look at the reaction. Once again, they've come from a game down to win. The Indonesians desperately disappointed, but we'll see Liang and Wang in the semi-final. They just would not be denied. Only 22 and 21 respectively, Liang and Wang. And the way they play, Chris, they're the kind of pair that could beat anyone on their day. I would agree, but I would say at times they do show that they're a young pair because when things weren't going well, you know, everything went wrong, if you get what I mean. I mean, they lowered their level down dramatically. When they're good, they are incredible. They really are. You know, and this is, they've shown that previously in some of their phenomenal performances. But when things aren't going right, this is the big thing for them. This is where things do start to go wrong. <laughs> So a very hard-fought victory for the Chinese pair who win 13-21, 21-19, 21-18 in exactly one hour on our show call. We're going to take a very short break. When we come back, we're going to put the emphasis on singles for the first time today. Olympic champion Chen Yufei against Gregoria Chunjun. That's coming right up.
Just a reminder about the badminton for you app. Scan that QR code, it gives you access to all kinds of goodies. You can look up your favourite players, ticket availability, draws, latest scores, just about anything you could wish for. Meanwhile, for the first time today, we're going to put the emphasis on singles, women's singles to be specific, and the Olympic champion Chen Yufei against Gregoria Tunjung.